The sign says surfing is prohibited, but that's not stopping surfers from all over from descending on Montauk Point in anticipation of big waves starting Friday from Hurricane Earl. Like when you're surfing that type of wave, it's either you know what you're doing or you're going to drown out there. But the coming storm is not thrilling for everyone. Hotel owner Alice Housenecht is shutting down until Earl is long gone. It's a big loss of revenue. However, we really are concerned with the safety of the customers, and uh, we prefer that people not be in harm's way. For now, out here on eastern Long Island, people are watching the ocean, knowing that Hurricane Earl is out there. Everyone knows the wind and the rain is coming this way. The only question is, how severe will they be? People are taking the same wait-and-see approach at the Jersey Shore. The red flags mean no swimming. But that didn't stop people Thursday from enjoying a day at the beach. No, we're all right. We're here. It's, I got to blow a pool. If we get that hot, we'll fill it up. We'll make it work. It's not worth missing a beach day. On Cape Cod in Massachusetts, people were taking Hurricane Earl in stride. But we're also stocking up on food, water, and other essentials. Went, made sure I had a lot of good homemade chocolate because you can ride out any storm with that. By Saturday, the storm is forecasted to have moved on from the northeastern United States. Ted Chaffrey, the Associated Press, Montauk, New York.